Some people in the Bemidji community saw their dream become a reality this morning as Jean Dillon Elementary School was officially dedicated. Our own Sherelle Moore has a look at the ceremony. After years of hard work, Bemidji finally has its newest elementary school. Today, students, staff, family and friends took the time to dedicate the building and honor its namesake. A lot of times uh, schools are named after, you know, famous uh, individuals, politicians and, uh, you know, philanthropists and, and leaders and educators and that's, uh, that's wonderful. Uh, but the school board recognized the important person that my dad was and what he represents in this community. So we're just really humbled that they would, uh, they would name a school after him. About 40 members of Gene Dillon's family were at the ceremony today, not to mention a few of his Navy friends. They travel to Bemidji from all over the country. A lot of great people, they just, they do a lot of things in their community and that was my dad. He's a member of the military, served honorably for 20 years in the United States Navy and he brought a lot of that uh, service uh, here to the community. He was a baseball coach, he was a small businessman. And this is a dream come true to have this new beautiful school and um, to dedicate it um, and put the name on it of Gene Dillon who served our community. He served our school board for over 20 years. There was one action that Jean Dillon stood by, and Principal Amy Allgaard made sure it was present throughout the ceremony. He was a very humble and kind man, and so the, the premise of our entire presentation, if you will, our dedication ceremony was to, to honor him as, as who he was and what his legacy will be here at our school. And so humble and kind is kind of our theme. Another theme from the dedication was thanking everyone who helped make the dream school a reality. From the school board, and Kraus Anderson construction to the people who fill the halls every day. Every new school is going to have hiccups, if you will, but uh, we uh, feel really good with where we are right now, and a large part is due to our staff, and our students are amazing. It was just so important to recognize him in this way and give something back to him so that his legacy for the importance that he placed on education would continue into the future. Reporting of Bemidji, Sherelle Moore, Lakeland News. And be sure to tune into Lakeland News tomorrow night. We'll take a look at Gene Dillon's STEAM class for our first Golden Apple of the year. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.